Yo, I'm sick of drinking trash tier protein that tastes like dumpster water. I think it's time a real challenger entered the arena. What's up YouTube, welcome back to this episode of Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing a review of Beyond Yourself's Vegan Protein. If you have heard me speak about this, I mean, maybe I've mentioned it a few times, we'll see. It's something that could slip out of my mouth when I'm talking about vegan proteins. This is the vegan protein by which I measure all other vegan proteins, mostly because I believe that taste plays a major role in how people react to and if they decide to consistently use a protein and integrate it into their lives. If it doesn't taste good, chances are they're probably not going to regularly use it. Uh, that being said, of course, ingredients matter. That's definitely a thing. Uh, but these guys have an absolutely solid offering. Now, fun fact, the guys who make the flavoring for Beyond Yourself Vegan Protein and all the Beyond Yourself products used to work for Chapman's Ice Cream. Yeah. Let that sink in real quick. I think they might have a tiny bit of an edge on most other guys. Just, just like a little... Um, that's that's fair for you to feel like that. I think it's something that definitely puts them head and shoulders above a lot of other companies uh, because, like I said, flavor matters. I mean, it definitely matters to me, and there's a lot of other people out there to whom flavor does very much matter. So today we're going to be testing it against the four pillars. We're going to be doing our best to be as objective as humanly possible, and then we're going to give it a final score. So let's jump right on into it and get to the review, shall we? A few moments later. 20 seconds. All right. Well, uh, now that we've shaken that up, let's uh, get to testing the taste part of this whole process. Now, before we get into the taste, I should also mention that this is uh, vanilla cupcake batter flavored. Okay, taste. The first note I get is the vanilla flavor, which actually comes through pretty nice. It's followed pretty immediately by the sort of flavor of the plant-based protein. And so if you've ever had a plant-based protein, you know pretty well what the flavor of the sort of brown rice, yellow pea protein tastes like. More often than not, especially in vegan proteins, it hits hard, it hits fast, and it lingers so much that you, you can't really ignore it. Now, in this case, it does come and follow up behind the flavor of the vanilla very quickly to the point where like, I'm almost hesitant to maybe say it comes first and the vanilla comes second, but again, it's very, they're, they're very close. So take that for what it's worth. Um, that being said though, um, right after you get the vanilla flavor and then you get the sort of plant-based protein flavor, something happens involving those two flavors they sort of start to mix together. And the earthiness from the plant-based protein flavor actually starts to kind of lift the vanilla flavor a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is just because the vanilla flavor rides out hard, and so it keeps going throughout the mid flavor of the, of the protein, and it kind of works with the plant-based protein taste. It, it, it's hard to explain. The plant-based protein taste, the, the yellow pea brown rice flavoring doesn't necessarily go away, but it's not so in your face that it's interrupting the flavor in any kind of way that would make you feel like this is, uh, it compromises the experience. It works well with it somehow. It's a very strange thing and impressive thing to say the least. Um, but yeah, there's a sort of creaminess that comes through, and I think that's from the MTC oils that they use, um, the, or MTC powder, excuse me. Uh, they use MTC powder in this um, to kind of lend it a creaminess that normally doesn't come with plant-based proteins. And I think that was to its strength, it was to its benefit for sure, and helps it out in the long run. You don't get like a back-end flavor, at least nothing hard from the plant-based protein, the vanilla still lingers in the back end. In fact, I'd say even after the plant-based protein sort of finishes out, the very tail end of the flavor is still vanilla. And so you don't have a feeling in your mouth like, ugh, plant-based protein, I don't really wanna drink this. You're ready to go back for another sip, which is actually, again, very impressive. So taste, I mean, I wanna give this a taste rating just generally speaking, not one specifically for vegan proteins. This is just across the board. Where do I think it stands? Um, and I think this would actually stand at a, I'm gonna call this a four out of five. 
there's the like the plant-based protein flavor comes through and like it's there and like it's noteworthy so it kind of interrupts it just a little bit but it's so little that like i really only feel like i can dock one full point for that otherwise i actually very much enjoy the flavor and i i want to drink it again and i actually do like the way the two flavors work together in the sort of middle part of the flavor experience so yeah four to five that's a pretty good score for taste again coming out the gate strong like i expected and yeah doing great work so good job you on yourself well done for texture uh you have a very interesting thing going on here there's still a bit of like a uh, grit going on sort of thing but it's a grit that's a lot finer so if i was to kind of explain it to somebody and try to give them an idea as to what this is like imagine putting a tablespoon of normal sugar in your mouth and putting a tablespoon of icing sugar in your mouth or powdered sugar in your mouth you're still gonna feel that it in, it's in your mouth and it's there but with the normal sugar you're gonna feel like a granules it's gonna be very noticeable very like grainy very sandy kind of like texture whereas when you're you're dealing with the powdered sugar or the icing sugar it's gonna be a lot finer and a lot harder to notice and gonna go down a lot easier smoother gonna turn into like a paste and kind of vanish into your mouth very quickly uh, that's sort of what you're experiencing here with this being much more like the sort of icing sugar or powdered sugar uh, experience very thin still there so yeah I have to say that but a lot less noticeable and then what isn't sort of being altered by that sort of more gritty experience you're getting a much cleaner more liquidy texture to it very very smooth and yeah easy to chug so even though i'm still noticing it there i have to give it about a 3.4 but that's a great score and it's definitely uh definitely something worth you know praising when it comes to a vegan a plant-based protein so good on you guys on that score i mean you guys are doing really great so far well done mixability now when it comes to mixability this actually mix quite well when you look inside of the container you're not really seeing any clumps lumps anything caked to the side it, it did a great job of sort of uh, coming together there's a little bit that i can see kind of settling towards the bottom it's nothing huge but it's definitely worth noting that like it doesn't mix into something that's so smooth that it's all basically just one homogenous thing um but uh that being said um it still mixed quite well i think i see a lump Okay, never mind. That was my imagination, I guess. Um, point being, this mixed quite well. Um, if I was to give this a score, I'd still say sits in the three, high threes, 3.6, because um, it did mix very well. I have to like struggle to find that sort of sediment. I do know it's there. I, I can see it there every so often if I take longer sort of pauses between cuts, but nonetheless, it's, it's very unnoticeable. And it's, yeah, it's a very positive experience on that end too. So it mixed quite well. I haven't had any trouble with it and yeah, it's staying well mixed and you can kind of notice that as you drink it too. So it has a positive effect on the, on the texture, like I mentioned before. So yeah, 3.6, that's still quite good. Last is the macros. Now for the macros for these guys, I actually have a reference, so let me pull that out. Oh man, they write everything so small in their containers. So we're coming in at 100 calories uh, per serving. Uh, it's a 30.5 gram scoop, uh, 1.8 grams of fat, uh, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, zero grams of, uh, of trans fat, uh, zero milligrams of cholesterol, 200 milligrams of sodium, zero milligrams of potassium, one gram of carbohydrates, which is great, um, and one gram of fiber, and 20 grams of protein. Now, um, when we kind of take that into account, we have to think about the fact that the 20, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to, to have to do this, I kind of have to dock some points for the fact that 20 grams of protein is not really the greatest amount in terms of the the amount of protein per scoop. Um, it's definitely on the lower end of things. Um, I've mentioned before what I would consider a general standard for most proteins, about 25-ish, um, uh, 25, 27-ish. Uh, but yeah, this coming in at 20, I mean, it's not really great for, especially for a 30 gram scoop. Um, that being said, if they had to drop the protein per scoop so that they could keep this flavor from being abominable, I totally get it. Um, would I take the drop in protein over improvements in flavor? I guess it would depend on how much of an improvement on flavor we're getting. Uh, that being said, um, I mean, it's sad that it's only 20. 
I would say this also puts it at like a, I have to give it like a 3.3, 3. I'm gonna call it 3.2 because I do believe it deserves a slight bump up off of the fact that even though it's coming in lower on macros, this is a fully organic product. So fully organic, stevia sweetened, uh, which is fantastic. And yeah, it's a fully organic vegan product, which is, I mean, pretty hard to come by and even harder to come by when the flavor is this good. So. 3.2, still pretty good, but definitely could use some work on that. And if they could find a way to keep the flavor balanced, this would be an amazing protein. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, 3.2, that's where it sits here. So I guess at this point in time, the only thing left to do is uh, get a final score. The final score is in, and this protein is coming in at a 14.2 out of 20, which is going to put it at the 70 range. Uh, that's that's pretty good. Uh, 70. That's 71. 71. Uh, and so yeah, 71 is not bad. That's a that's a. I call it a B. In this case, I definitely give it a solid B rating. Um, which is very respectable, especially for a vegan protein. In this case, I mean, it loses some points because its macros aren't exactly the best. Uh, and there is still some, I mean, to be expected, but it is still there, uh, sort of separation that's happening. You can kind of tell that there's a little bit of a texture in there from the plant-based proteins. It doesn't fully mix in with the water. Uh, and yeah, that's that's kind of where it loses most of its points. Um, and it, it, it's sad that I couldn't give it an A. I want to give it an A just because flavor, it kills it. It does a fantastic job. And honestly, if we're just, if we're comparing it against other vegan proteins, it has no equal. It is the S tier of vegan proteins, in my opinion. Um, that being said, you compare it to all other proteins, it's gonna have some stiff competition. But nonetheless, beyond yourself, you have a very fantastic product here. Something that you can be very proud of because this is the kind of thing that murders other proteins. Props to you guys, you're doing great. This is a fantastic product. I gotta big up the fact that you guys have managed to make vegan protein not taste like a bag full of ashes and, and, and leaves and compost and earthworms. So get on you, that's, that's accomplishment. And that's a huge accomplishment in and of itself. Uh, and yeah, the fact that I actually enjoyed this, not only it being vegan protein, but also it being a vanilla flavor protein and I still enjoyed it, that's huge. So yeah, if you're looking for a recommendation for me for a vegan protein, be on yourself vegan protein, specifically the vanilla cupcake batter one. I would definitely say that's, 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 a, that's the jam, that's worth it, that's worth putting your money down. So yeah, there you have it. This one's got, this one's got the seven star seal of approval which I'm probably not gonna put up above my finger. Why? Because I haven't created such a badge and I'm pretty sure I can't convince my graphic designer slash fiance to make one before this video goes up or before I finish editing. So you know what, not gonna happen. But maybe at some point, maybe at some point this will happen. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? A little, a little badge, seal of approval. Anyway, um, That'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it provided you some information you didn't have before, educated you, informed you, entertained you. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you enjoyed this video, head below it, please, and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of all of our future content. Of course, drop a comment in the comment section below the video as well. Talk to us, talk to me. Let me know what it is you thought of this video. Let me know what it is you're taking for your workout supplements. I'd love to hear about it. Let me know if you have any suggestions for things that I should try in the future. And I'll be more than happy to see if I can go find them, seek them out, get myself some, and try it and do a review of it for you guys here on the channel. Uh, and of course, join the galaxy like I mentioned. Be another one of us out here doing everything we can to be just a little bit better tomorrow than we were today and that's more than enough uh, and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace oh as an aside because if my youtube metrics are to be to believe uh, a lot of y'all just sort of drop off the map around now um here's something for you if you throw a comment in the comment section below, and especially if you've happened to to stick around this long, I might do something crazy. I might decide to.
throw your name into a raffle for some stuff that I have. Do you, would you guys be interested in a raffle? If I can get some comments from y'all down in the comment section about that, let me know. I'll be happy to maybe do a little raffle, but you guys gotta let me know about that, so I'll throw that into the comment section. Uh, nonetheless, uh, video over, do your thing. Peace out, guys, have a good one. I'm gonna finish this protein.